Well, it's official, guys. Austin Matthews is officially the highest paid player in the NHL. He is making it rain money. Uh, he has re-signed with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Four-year contract worth $53 million with an AAV of $13.25 million. He's making it rain. I'm sorry, I'll do that again. That is just, it's money, money, money. And I have my opinions on it, but I'm going to hand straight over to you, Jaden, to uh, give your your thoughts because I know exactly how uh, you're feeling about this situation. <laughs> well, uh, no cup for Toronto for the next four years and foreseeable future. Um, that is this contract. Uh, rip Nealander, if you were friends with him, rip him. Um, that's pretty much gone, done, dusted. I can't see that happening. And even if it does, rip cup again. <laughs> so- yeah, um, if he gets 10 plus mil. Whew. Oh, th- this this Whew. has got to be... Honestly, I, I feel like it's arguably one of the worst contracts in the league just because I, just the circumstances surrounding it of just how it affects your team's salary cap situation. And it doesn't kick into next um, after next year, obviously, but my God. They get the prime years, but what, what do you want? For, what are you trying to win here? You're trying to win the cup or you're trying to just keep good players? Like... They're, they're, you're not winning a cup with his contract at all, and it's not going to age well. He's going to uh, he's going to be asking for 15 plus at the end of the contract, and my god, he's not a playoff performer. <laughs> he he's a choker and he chokes hard, and yep. he, like he'll he'll appear for a game, score two goals, and he'll disappear for um two games. And for a 11 plus to 13 million player, that is not acceptable. What a joke. Um, I replaced the yeah. uh, Leafs logo with uh, some money there because that's that's who he supports. It, uh, he doesn't care about the organization. I, some I've... people are saying it's a team friendly deal <laughs> because you know that the the rumors of fifteen million dollars was on the table. Oh. Mate, that's fifteen million was an even worse overpayment oh. if he got that. But like this is still an overpayment, it and it doesn't even have term. That's the other thing about it is, you know, yeah, okay, <laughs> you know, he's not going to be 35 years old because he signed an eight-year contract and earning, you know, 13.25 mil, but he's going to be 31. If he still plays reasonably well, he, like, as you said, and the cap goes up, he will probably argue for 15 plus mil because he's just shown that's what player he is. But it's just, my God, dude, like, you saw what the $11.6 million contract has done to your organization. You have been cap strapped for that entire time because you've got Tavares, uh, Tavares um, Mana, and, and even Nylander to an extent. I wouldn't throw that in so there, much. but sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, his, uh, his is probably a, a team-friendly contract, <laughs> yeah. realistically, realistically. 6, 6.9 mil. Um, but the other three, you know, you, you've seen what that's done to the to the team. And you haven't won anything. Why are you taking this? They won a first round. They made it to the second won. round, and he deserves True. his money. He True deserves story. his money. For that four year contract, if he has if he had taken eleven million, I would have been I would have been fine. I would have been like, that's a great great contract. Well done, Matthews. Team friendly. I like it. It's well done, team. I I could consider that a team friendly contract. This, I'm I'm saying, is an overpayment still. I think, you know, if he took a 12.5, you could say that's his value. Yeah. Um, well, the, but, the thing yeah, is, he's, he's completely like, exposed now. How, like, everyone how, knows. How does he get more than McKinnon? How does he get more than McKinnon? How does he, yeah, like... Well, it, 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 it does come uh, down to percentage of the salary cap. I get all that type of crap. But McKinnon just signed um, yeah. for 100k more than McDavid. Just signed after winning the cup just signed and people, people are comparing this contract years. to Mc, Mc, um, McDavid's and that's just laughable because you, no one's in the realm of talking point with McDavid um, the only close one is McKinnon well, <laughs> so, like, if, 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 if he's getting 13.25 what is McDavid getting in three years time 17 like, 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 um, At- like, with, with, with salary cap going up as well but like yeah like probably 17 like this this is a joke Oh, this just destroyed the potential of a cup. 
I would have preferred to see him walk as a Toronto Leaf. I know Leafs wouldn't like that because whatever, but you have more chance of winning a cup with him walking and rebuilding, retooling, because the next four years is going to be bad. He's going to make sure he's going to make sure you don't have prospects um, for the future because you're going to keep going for it. Um, you know, for that that second round win, I guess is what you're going for, and then yeah. Uh, you're going to have no prospects. So you're looking probably yeah. eight plus, to possibly a decade um, to look at for a cup here because like, you, who are you competing with? You're competing against New Jersey who have like Jack Hughes on an $8 million contract. You got um, Carolina Hurricanes who just have a, a wazoo of a team. You got Dallas Stars over there. You got Montreal who has like Suzuki and Caulfield signed up on those contracts, and if they perform, it's easy to outperform those contracts. Like you got Buffalo on you got team Buffalo friendly coming contract. up. Like, you, you're not beating these teams. <laughs> like just mm-hmm. straight up. And, and so you're not winning a cup with this team, and uh, it 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 really does expose uh, Matthews the way he's done this signing four year contracts. It's purely about money. This, this guy doesn't care about a cup, um, and that's I, I wouldn't want this man on my team, let alone in a leadership role, <laughs> because he's not a leader. He, like, unless he's leading the money, yeah, I, um, it's yeah. I don't, dude, you're getting so much in endorsements. You're getting all the rest of it. Like, what yeah. what are you doing, man? Like, how much yeah, F money it, do you right. need? How much F yeah. money do you need? And I, look, I get it. Everyone's gonna come in and go. You know, he's he's one of the best goal goal scorers in the league if not the best goal scorer in the league and i get that but again you know like he only put up 40 goals this season yeah okay we get it he was injured all the rest of it let's see how he bounces back this year but outside of that one year he had 60 goals it's been 40 47 37 34 40 great numbers like i'm not arguing with that but he's not blowing mcdavid just scored 64 Mm. you had ranton and get 50 odd you had uh, McKinnon Kyle scored Connor more than him at 42. McKinnon scored 42. Like, yeah, Drysaddle scored 50 for the 55 for second year in a row. Like, there are other prolific goal scorers in the league that are putting up better numbers than, than Austin Matthews at the moment. And yes, okay, over the period of time, yep, he's, he's the number one. Um, but again, is that 13.25 mil? No. And... I, I've I've seen some people trying to justify it, and I just I can't. Oh man, oh, I've seen some gonna, pretty bad the caps takes. Gonna go up by four mil. The cap's going to go up by four mil. Well, is that confirmed? <laughs> it's and not. even if it does, even if it does, he's just taken a one point six million dollar pay increase. So almost half of that is gone already next season. Yeah, from and, and, and then you're going to have to sign or at least replace the Ender. You're going to have mm-hmm. to sign Mana coming up, who's going to take the next chunk of your um, cap increase. Yeah. There is no cap increase because your whole entire top four core is just eating it. So you're, you're, you are you're have no cap it. increase if you're a Toronto Maple Leaf. Exactly. It's, just, <laughs> it's just the like, same trouble. Oh, I, I, I laugh. I, I've, I've, heard, I've seen people say, like, oh, Aginla signed an 18% contract and it's like, but Calgary in the 2000s? Yes, so what? So what? Did did he win a cup? No. <laughs> so the reason he didn't win a cup is because he signed an eighteen percent contract. <laughs> McDavid hasn't won a con- um hasn't hasn't won a cup. Like I just oh this is this is horrendous. It's a completely all about me deal. He doesn't. People are saying oh if he wanted out of Toronto he would have gone the free agency if he wanted more money. Dude, he gets so much advertisement. And stuff for being in Toronto, he makes more. Like he'll make more money as endorsements being in Toronto. You realize that, right? Like the shirt sales, obviously, or all, all the all the signings he does with Apple and all of that for um advertisements. Like he makes more money being in the biggest franchise, getting all those endorsements as well. So you can't tell me that oh he, he if he wanted money he'd go to Arizona and take a little bit more. No, he make he makes more with yeah, the endorsements as well. Would he would he get more though? That's the thing because look, I agree when when it comes to free agent, you see you pay more. Mm. But with a player like this, would you? Oh, like like who, who who does? But like you got like, what, Anaheim or Arizona with like that type of salary cap. That's like, what I mean. Like he's not going anywhere good if they did anyway. 
And if they sign him for fifteen million, which I don't think anyone would have, you're 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 fucked. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> for the thing, but like straight up, like I could only see a dollars. team like Arizona doing it to boost popularity of the team, and it's not going for the cup. It's purely trying to make revenue for the business yeah. itself, and it's that's the only way I could see it doing. But this is a big loss for Toronto. No cup in probably a decade at least now, in my opinion, because you got four years of this guy who doesn't care about the cup. You got four years of cap hell at minimum. Then you got the retool rebuild after that. It I, I can't see it happening but in, in the next decade. It it unfortunately for Toronto and Toronto fans. I, I I've seen people like Steve Dangle say like woohoo like you know, money, woo you know, term uh, but overall, yay, Matthews is back. But then the same thing, like a, you know, a few weeks ago, he he would go and say, "Oh, he needs to take a team-friendly deal, or otherwise we don't win a cup and all that stuff." Like, how can you be positive about yeah, this as a Le- as a Leaf fan? Like, you, you you're in Stockholm syndrome, man, with these with these people who's taking money. Like, <laughs> you you really are, and you you need to get out of it because you know other teams with better horizons, you know, the Canes, New Jersey, Dallas. Buffalo, just just name a name a few. They they have better salary cap situations, and it's a cap world. So, I guess we'll leave it there. He's only scored 11, 11 points max in the playoffs, and that was this year. He's a point per game player in the playoffs. Um, he doesn't show up, even though he is a point per game player. Look, he's a right two way forward, but I don't I I don't see him outperforming his contract even if he scores another sixty. And that that is that is the problem. So I guess I'll leave it there. Put up a hundred hundred points once. So like, yeah. Yep. Meanwhile. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Nah. It's (laughs) sorry, Toronto fans. If you like this contract, I sorry for your well being as well. But it is what it is. (laughs) I'll leave it there. All right. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below on what you think of this horrendous deal not implying anything that it is good or bad, but it's all about winning, and it's not about winning, it's about that fat money. But, till next time, guys, catch you later.